Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah. Overall, man, four quarter of the year, second day of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Um, two months. Well, I told three months left. How you feeling? What's next for Urban Politician TV? Like, man, just trying to keep bringing different shit to the game, bro. Like, uh. I don't want to get stuck in one lane of this thing. Like, just, you know, having everybody knowing exactly what I'm going to do on the platform. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep it fresh. I want to keep it entertaining. Mm -hmm. But just, bro, I ain't got no limit on where I'm trying to go with it. So it's like everything next, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't get to really travel like I wanted to this year or last year. I ain't been traveling out the state, really. So I do want to kind of get back on that, but it's like the game's so different now where it's set, bro. It don't even be making sense just to go out of town nowhere unless you, you book for something or you going out there to deal with something directly. You know, at first, three years ago, really, three years ago, it made sense just to go touch down in the city and just see what you could come across. Mm -hmm. I don't think that makes sense no more. No, because of the money, the time. Yeah, it don't make back in the game. That kind of made sense. Like, yeah, pop out in the city and just work your magic or just pull up at whatever event going on. But nah, man, more interviews. Uh, I want to get back on that heavy. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Cause yeah. I haven't seen. I yeah. mean, I've seen the J Dog interview. You did. Yeah. J Dog, right in here, right on this. Couch, yeah, on the right same there. couch, facts. Um, I seen that. But of course, you you dropping content every day with the current yeah, events. Yeah. But I was gonna ask you, are you gonna get more back into the? Interview? I want to keep them coming. I, I don't want to abandon them. More of the interviews, more of the Houston scene, just what's going on in the city. More of them food vlogs gonna be coming. Yeah. Uh, more podcast content on the channel from the Studio Fifty Six podcast. So you'll see me flushing them live streams out. Still, we always been doing that though. Uh. Interviews for sure, though. I do want to, but it's just hard to find niggas who really, like, doing stuff or people want to see, like, the game's so different now. Niggas ain't really looking to underground rappers for content. You feel me? Niggas ain't really looking to, uh, um, you know, they looking to people that they already familiar with or just niggas with wild-ass stories, you know? They looking for bullshit. They looking for drama. They looking for controversy. So... I'm just not the most nigga that, I don't like to chase that type of shit. Like, I don't like to purposely set out to go get some shit just because I know it's going to be controversial. I, I kind of like to agree with the niggas or have a real perspective of sitting down and talking to niggas. So, man, all that shit be hard to just really factor in with this thing. But I do want to get... Keep uh, I want to keep most for sure more interviews coming for sure. out the city of Ace Town too. Just but niggas just got to be working, bro. But I'm I'm keeping them coming. I had just did an interview. Uh, who I had just dropped the interview with right before this J Dog. When was somebody? I just can't got I just ain't got on the top of my head. Oh, Saucewood winning. I did one with him after the uh. The boxer man after the Sean Cotton boxer man. So I I I still be getting them in there, but it be it be hard for everybody to see them, man. They be you know you the know algorithm different. Yeah, it's changed. It, 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 it's, it's different. Yeah, people focused on something else. They gonna put you on. They they you know they they make you go put your shit where everybody focused at. You know what I'm saying for sure. Man, man. Now one thing too before we get out of here. Yeah. Um, for the people who don't know what it really takes to do this, mm -hmm. um, it's man, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's really work. Thanks. Um, coming up with time, mental space, making sure you're saying things right, having integrity, trying to be real, but at the same time staying consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, looking at man, my YouTube ain't hit this month. I'm, I'm short three, four hundred. Normally, it's on hit like mm -hmm. what 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 are some of the things that you really do go through? to bring this content to your viewers that they might not know. Man, nigga be sacrificing his motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. When I say sacrifice my life, I ain't saying like I'm like do this, but I'm like relaxing around and stuff, uh, just sleeping all day, all that type of shit, running and chasing females. If you a single nigga, you gotta give some of that up. And then it depends on what type of content you do also, what type of videos you make. Because sometimes you can kind of, depending on how far you want to go, you can kind of just 
have it set up to where you do your interviews or whatever, then you ain't got to do nothing else for the day or da 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 But if you, like, really diving in it, nigga, this is just like having a job. Or worse, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's something you be more, more passionate about because you know it's yours. Some people's passion be tied to their money that they can make out the game. Mine do be tied to the money, of course. I'm not going to come up here and cap, but this really a nigga life. Like, this really a nigga culture. I ain't got no other culture, nigga. I ain't got nothing else, nigga. I'm a nigga, 100% a nigga. So, nigga, and I'm a nigga that grew up in hip-hop culture. So, this 100% my life. So, I'm tied to it in that bond. That's why I got a certain level of respect for things, and I want to see it emulated a, some way, a certain way. Because overall, I know hip-hop, even though hip-hop don't represent all black people, hip-hop represents a large population of black people. Mm -hmm. It go hand in hand. So I tell people all the time, I try to have a certain regard to it because so much go hand in hand with hip-hop from nigga, the way we talked about, that's hip-hop. Nigga, the streets, the culture, the fashion, the imagery, even racism. All of these things tied to hip-hop, oppression, all these things tied to hip-hop and the narratives that go around it. A big part of hip-hop is rap and storytelling. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it's the same thing with me. Like, hey, bro, I got to document the real. So nigga be putting his life on the line for it, bro. You might have to stay up all night editing sometime, get up early editing. You might have to go drive over here. Like today, nigga, I was editing. I had to, I ripped and ran all day yesterday, got up early, went did an interview at 9, 30, 10 in the morning, but I was up till 5 or 6 the, the morning before that because I had to go do something on the other side of town, visit my fam, then came back, da 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 well, Nigga, then I had to take a nap. I was so exhausted yesterday to, to take it. a nap. So, nigga, you really got to grind for this shit, bro. Yeah. You really got to grind. Then it be BS in the game. It be roadblocks, nigga. I done did way more free shit. For the f I ain't start making money on YouTube, bro, probably till after three years. Yeah, it hit me about three years. About three years, bro. Some niggas be right out the gate, though. Do your stuff. Congratulations. But I ain't start making a little money on YouTube till three years in, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I done did way more work for free than I done got paid for. You know what I'm saying? Way more work for free than I done got paid for. Nigga, I done drove to go do to the other side of town to do stuff. It didn't work out. I done spent thousands of dollars to go to a city, to, to Miami, didn't get one interview. Yeah. Nigga, nigga put time and energy in this shit. I done drove here. I done drove to uh, New Orleans, to, uh, to Mobile, Alabama, to Atlanta. I done wrecked rental cars, nigga. I done got with by the police, you know what I'm saying? I done got caught up in a mix of street shit. Like, nigga really put it all on this shit to try to get up in there, bro, and a nigga love it though. I wouldn't trade it for the world, dog. Like keeping it a thousand. Yeah. And that's sure. why that's why all the work and all the things you've done, that's mm. why you so respected. Niggas know, we know for sure now. We yeah. know. And now I'm like, I mean I'm pretty sure you embrace your name and where you, your position in the game now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to get there too. Like, I'm from a small city, whatever the case may be, but I, I'm getting to the point like, bro, I done did some stuff too. Yeah. So I understand. It's yeah. just for these viewers. The viewers always got all these opinions. Why this? Why he ain't doing this? Yeah. Why? Man, look, bro. Can't make everybody happy, bro. Yeah, man. I had a nigga tell me the, the other day, hey, nigga, I don't like, man, you laughed at this video, but you ain't laugh at this one. I was like, what, nigga? Like, what the f Like, niggas do that. Grown men, bro. Grown men, and then people, it's a popularity contest in this game, dog. For sure. It's a big popularity contest where you trying to keep it real and solid, but niggas will be acting like like they going to hold you to the accountability of keeping it real and solid, but them same niggas going to go f with niggas in the game who really clearly don't care about keeping it real and solid. Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, you got to do what you want to do for you. It's all about the expectations you got for yourself, dog. So that's why I tell me I got expectations for me. I can't put my expectations on nobody else because we all know what this is, man.